On March 6, Her Excellency the Honourable Kerry Sanderson, Governor of Western Australia, was the guest speaker at the Metastatics International Women's Day event in support of the Kiss Violence Against Women Goodbye campaign through Momentum for Australia charity. The Honourable Julie Bishop, Minister for Foreign Affairs, received the 2015 Momentum Forum Most Inspiring Woman of the Year Award. Over 350 guests watched the glamorous fashion parade by Betty Tran. Welcome to the Metastatics International Women's Day 2015. I have with me a very special guest, Honorable Minister Mischling, who is the Attorney for Western Australia, Attorney General for Western Australia. Welcome to the event. Oh, thank you, Barbara. It's a pleasure to be here, and it's a very important event to appear at, so I'm glad to be able to support it. Thank you for the invitation. This is our honour and pleasure. Now, I believe that you made the effort to support the cause, the Kiss Violence Against Women Goodbye. Can you be so kind and read your pledge and your message? Absolutely. My pledge is to uh, protect and empower the innocent and the powerless, to punish and reform the guilty, and to encourage a culture where people will respect each other and do unto others as they would like to have done unto them. I think those are the keys towards addressing violence against women and violence generally. Thank you very much. Minister, I know you don't do it every day, but may I ask you symbolically to kiss the violence against women on the camera? Yes, <laughs> I would like to welcome now to the stage Senator Reynolds to read her pledge and kiss violence against women goodbye for Momentum for Australia charity. Senator Linda Reynolds, is she able to come? Oh, Linda. Oh, sorry. I'm blonde. Thank you so much. Please. <laughs> International Women's Day is a day when we come together to celebrate the economic, political and social achievements of women past, present, but I think for all of us, most importantly, for the future. Do you have a message in support of the Kiss Prevention of Violence Against Women, in support of the Kiss Violence Against Women Goodbye campaign? I do, and my pledge and my wish is that we all work towards a world where all women and all girls can live up, live in and grow without fear of violence, intimidation and that young girls today can really grow up to be whoever they want to be in life, wherever they want to live. May I ask you, Senator, to kiss the violence against me goodbye on camera. It's a symbolic gesture. Let us all work together to kiss violence goodbye. I would like to welcome the Honourable Liz Beja MLC, who is here to support the Kiss Violence Against Women Goodbye, who is our special guest. Liz, welcome to the event. Thank you, Barbara. It's the third year I'm here and it's always wonderful. We better honour your event. It's great. You're doing such a fabulous job in raising the awareness that we need to be raising about domestic violence and violence against women in general. Thank you. What's your message? What's your message? My message is it's just it's not okay. Domestic violence in any form is not okay and we need to continue that fight to raise the awareness and make sure that people know that it's never and as you say, let's kiss it goodbye. May I ask you for your pledge for your kiss? Thank you. I'm here with Dana Vullen, Dana Vullen who joined us at the Metastatics International Women's Day in support of this year Kiss Violence Against Women Goodbye campaign. Dana, what's your message and what's your pledge? I pledge to inspire a zero tolerance of violence worldwide and just want to say I'm 100% behind your message, Barbara. I, I love it and I believe in it. My name is Dana Vullen and a little over three years ago, in the early hours of the morning, I was asleep on my couch. A woman and a man broke into my apartment, doused me in methylated spirits and set me on fire, watching me burn alive and laughing as they left me for dead. In honour of today, here at the Meta Aesthetics International Women's Day Luncheon, where we celebrate kissing violence goodbye, I am excited to announce my global mission to help raise awareness and inspire others to rally to the anti-violence cause. Beginning with me travelling to Bangladesh at the end of the month, I'll meet the survivors in Bangladesh. My aim, to create a real wave of change. In Bangladesh, 
I will witness firsthand the destruction wreaked by an alarming common gender crime, acid throwing. I would also like to thank Barbara McNaught for organising today's luncheon and her continued work in kissing violence towards women goodbye, something I am so, so on board with. I would like to thank Dr. Essen Jadoun of Medaesthetics. I'm Dana Bullen, and I pledge to inspire zero tolerance of violence worldwide. Foreign Affairs Minister Julie Bishop has been awarded Most Inspiring Woman of the Year at an International Women's Day lunch in Perth. Ms Bishop was recognised for her work to end violence against women both nationally and overseas. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honoured, indeed touched, to be presented with this award by the Momentum Forum and I thank Barbara McNaught not only for thinking of me but also for the work that she does to promote the achievements of women and represent the challenges and opportunities that women face. Barbara, thank you for all that you do in this town. This weekend, we will celebrate International Women's Day. And I think it's appropriate that we should ask in 2015 whether it's still necessary, still relevant, for us to set aside a specific day that focuses just on women. Well, I say, while ever across the globe, women are subjected to sexual violence, while ever human trafficking in women and girls continues, and while ever women and girls are used as weapons of war, then it is necessary it is relevant to have such a day. And that's why I am pleased to support Momentum Forum's Kiss Violence Against Women Goodbye. Thank you. I'm pleased to talk to you today and thank Barbara McNaught for the invitation. But a saying attributed to Michelangelo is, the greatest danger for most of us is not that we aim too high and we miss it, but that we aim too low and we reach it. Aiming high doesn't mean just in a career sense, it means making a difference to those around you. We have here a very special guest in support of our guest speaker of today and the Kiss Violence Against Men Goodbye. You are representing Churchill High School. What's your name? Um, my name's Brianna Chupak. And I'm Irene Mateo. What do you think about today's event and do you want to support Kiss Violence Against Women Goodbye? I think it was very inspiring seeing different stories and speeches and definitely seeing the feminine governor. It was very inspiring and definitely support the Kiss Violence Goodbye. <laughs> so what would be your pledge? What would be your message? I think it's important to raise awareness about the cause so that everyone knows and does what they can to support it. So Same thank time. you. If I hand you the phone, will you kiss on camera the violence against women goodbye? Thank you. On behalf of Church on High School. Mm -hmm. and on behalf of Church on High School, we kiss violence against women goodbye. I'm so happy to be part of your cause. Um, I've got my lips on here and I definitely pledge to never accept violence, excuse violence and continue in my fight against violence against women. And I'm so proud to be part of your Kiss Violence Against Women campaign goodbye 2015. We need to kiss violence to women goodbye and more so than anything ladies, you need to stand up, talk to your sisters and you'll be amazed at how much support you get to walk away and kiss it goodbye and stop it forever. We've actually double kissed it together, double sister power. I'm here to make a stand to say no more, please, no more. We've had enough, hey? We've had enough. Ça suffit, as the French say. Ça suffit. Thank you very much. Kiss Violet goodbye and a big, big thank you to you, Barbara, because you really do make a such a difference today. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you, girls. Thank you for supporting Metastatics International Women's Day in support of... Kiss Violet Against Women Goodbye. Momentum Forum would like to thank the Honourable Kerry Sanderson AO, Governor of Western Australia. The Honourable Julie Bishop MP, Minister for Foreign Affairs. The Honourable Michael Mishin MLC, Attorney General for Western Australia. And the Honourable Liz Beja MLC for supporting the Kiss Violence Against Women Goodbye campaign. 
Thank you to our host, Kamer Bradford from 96FM and all the guests for attending. Thank you to our sponsors, Medasthetics, Barta Carta Australia. Thank you for watching the highlights of this year's celebration. For more episodes and interviews, visit hellodarling.com.au.